Hi, thanks for joining me on this video. I'm going to show you how we test AEDs. There's quite a bit more to test in them than you can do yourself. And uh, to be able to do that, you need a bit of test kit. So uh, I'm just going to show you the two main tests that we would do when we test these on site, just to give you an idea of what the defibrillator is actually capable of doing. If you've seen my previous video about how you can test these yourself, then you'll probably you're probably seeing about 30% of the full cycle of what the defibrillator is capable of doing. In other words, if you believe the machine works, then you're only actually seeing 30% of uh, what, it's, what it can actually do. So to test it fully, 100%, or the best we can without actually having a patient, we use some test equipment to simulate a, uh, uh, an arrhythmia pattern that would require the defibrillator to deliver a shock. So we would do is use a special test lead that's dedicated for your defibrillator. Uh, we've got test leads for all the most common defibrillators and we do all the checks that you would do. So in that sense we would do it for you, you don't need to worry about doing it and we document it as well and provide a certificate. In addition to everything that you would do, we do this test. So we connect our test equipment to the AED and we plug it in the back and then we select an arrhythmia pattern which would require the AED to deliver a shock and then we're going to switch the machine on. What the machine should do is go through its startup cycle and get you to check airways and see if the patient's breathing. It should then automatically detect that the pads are connected because our test equipment simulates these pads being connected and fitted. And then it should automatically then go to analyze the patient to see whether a shock is required. So I'm gonna put it, the test equipment onto the arrhythmia pattern that would require a shock and we'll turn the device on and we'll let it go through its sequence. Adult pads, unit okay. Okay, so I'm going to press the flashing shock Don't button. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. Because this is a semi-automatic defibrillator, which means I want to press delivered. it. Start CPR. And on the test equipment, we can see that we've got 126 joules of energy has been delivered. So not only are we able to actually continue CPR, check that the device is delivering a shock, we're also able to measure the amount of energy that's been delivered. This part of the sequence is also important, you don't get to see this. CPR. It's now in a two minute CPR cycle, so we would check that that two minute times out and that it reanalyzes. So while it's doing that, CPR. I'm just going to switch our device to an arrhythmia pattern that would not require a shock. And restart. CPR. So at the end of the CPR cycle, the machine will re recheck. Continue CPR. And it shouldn't deliver a shock. Continue CPR. Stop CPR. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. No shock advised. Start CPR. Okay, so that's really important. I'm going to turn this off so that I can just talk with you without this thing uh, interfering. What that sequence of testing demonstrates is that when the AED should deliver a shock, that it delivers a shock. And when it shouldn't deliver a shock, that it doesn't deliver a shock. And that's really, really important. Uh, there's no way you can test it. You need specialist test equipment for that. Um, but that's the best way of testing it in the field um, that we know of. You could, of course, send the device back to the manufacturer and get them to uh, test it. Um, some manufacturers offer that service and some don't. But um, anyway, I hope that's kind of given you a, an overview. If nothing else, you've been able to see the full sequence of the AED 
and get a feel for what it would do. So, you know, it's worth it's it's worth maybe getting your staff involved and showing your staff and the people who are responsible um, for these these devices uh, just what they do, so that if they need to use them, then the whole thing's not a not a shock and a surprise. Bad choice of words there, mate. Anyway, I'll see you next time.